Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm showing you a really cool DIY alpaca stuffed animal. Mine is really tiny because that's all I had as far as this fabric goes, but feel free to do your own size and decorate it any way you like, so anything works. And I'll just show you a super simple version how you can do this in any size you like. So stay tuned to see how. So I have here my fabric, some decorative stuff, bands or other fabric, whatever you like or have, and then some black thread for the eyes, maybe even some buttons if you have your alpaca in a bigger size, then some pins and fabric scissors. I'm using just some leftovers that you can see here, so my alpaca will be tiny this time, but the bigger you do it, the easier it will be. So if you want to make this easy for yourself, I definitely recommend doing a bigger version of the body. So you see here the little head that I cut out on top without the ears and the tail, of course. So we will do that two times and then we will pin it together for now. Then you will need four times the ears. Make them a bit bigger than you plan them to be in the end because the stitching is going to take up a bit of it. Then you'll need a tail, it's the same thing, a bit bigger size but the same shape that you want it in and again we are doing it reversed and we need to turn it later so the bigger you make it the simpler the turning will be. Okay, the first step is to put the small pieces together, so pretty side on pretty side, and just stitch them up. When you get to that, you do it all around, so all around, so this bow here, except this little opening, so that you can later turn it inside out. The thicker your fabric, the more difficult it is to turn it, so I definitely recommend a bit bigger or a bit thinner version of my project. And we do the same for the ears, pretty side on pretty side. And then again, leave the bottom open. So I turned all of these and now we can take our pins out of the two pieces. I just pinned it to see if the pieces are really the same, but we don't need them now. So now we will do the eyes first. Since my alpaca is really tiny, I'll just do it with some thread. But if you want a bigger one, you can do a button or even a plastic eye if you can find a set like that. Sometimes you can find those. So let's turn this and now we need to decide where our eye will be. We will have this smaller when we do the stitch, so don't do it too close to the edges. Just go a couple times through. all the way through and then again. And tie a knot through it like this. So you may notice that I have four times the same thread acting as one. That's a cool trick to make this faster and easier to do.
and now that you did this on both pieces put them pretty side on pretty side and then you can stitch the edges so along here and leave an opening here for the ears we will do those by hand and then you can just continue all the way down and you can leave an opening on the bottom if the top one isn't big enough or on the tail and then you can just simply finish the stitching all around so closing it up the opening should be on a straighter edge and not at the wavy parts because it's simply gonna be easier to close up later now you can try to cut the leftover fabric a bit or you can just cut it a bit almost to the stitch Here is my opening for turning it and that's where my tail will be too. So if you made a bit bigger alpaca than I did, the turning should be a piece of cake and you should be able to do it where your ear opening is. In my case it's super tiny so I have to do it very carefully in order not to rip anything. Then add the ears and the tail. So if you made it bigger, you could have put it in between the layers and then you can just stitch it with your sewing machine. In my case, since this is really super tiny, um, that would have been extremely difficult to do. So that's why I'm doing it by hand. Okay, so I turned my tiny alpaca and now I'll do the ears first. Push them both into the opening. By pushing it to the inside, you can kind of choose the final size your ears will have too. Now you can stitch this by hand. You can also stuff your alpaca now. Mine is too small, so I think I'll just leave it as it is. But that would also be an option that could make it a little bit thicker and prettier. The tail here, we will do the same way. So just push it to the inside and then close this opening and my alpaca is now done so I finished it by hand I did stuff it a bit because there was a bit more room than I thought and now I have here some bands and borders that we could use but this is of course optional so whatever you personally prefer you can definitely do for example, this one I find really pretty, so you could go around the nozzle with it if you'd like. So something like that is what I had in mind. You can even go around the neck too. So as you can see, you can do this any way you like. You can glue it on here, you can sew it on here, maybe even um, something here by the shoulder, a little saddle or whatever. But I think the alpaca looks the cutest this way, so I'll just leave it as it is. But I'm showing you all these different ideas that could make it interesting for you. So although I'm leaving mine as it is, you can of course and you should do your own so that you like it in the end. So whichever way you prefer it, just make sure you like it in the end. When you're done, you can decorate so you don't have to plan ahead for this. And this is it for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can also let us know in the comment section if you enjoyed it, how you made it, if you tried it yourself. And you can also let us know if you have any other wishes for future projects. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.